Hi Sagittarius, this is the general reading for you for the week of September 19th, 2021. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want a daily uh, reading, I do them on TikTok. That information is in the description box below with all the other links that I have. If you want to book a reading, if you want to follow my Instagram, if you want to donate, everything is down there so please know that this is a general reading and it may not fit your life or it might just fit your life i don't know that's going to be entirely up to spirit and up to you on where you place it okay spirit what messages do you have for my sagittarius babies for the week of september 19th 2021 we're also going to pull some love messages at the end so get to thinking about your person it could be a loved one that has passed away or it could be your higher self it could be your angels it could be um, the person you're in separation of whoever Okay, Spirit, what general messages do you have for my Sagittarius babies for the week of September 19th, 2021? Already I can see that you have home on the mind. Um, you might be going through a move. You have the Fool's card. You're wanting to take a chance. You're wanting to go forward. Something ha might have uplifted you. Um, something lit the fire under your butt. <laughs> You're wanting to take a chance on something. You've been feeling kind of alone uh, through this. You've been in your emotions a bit. You're probably thinking things through. You think you're definitely thinking about your future. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. There, you're having moments of... I feel like you, you're having moments of ups and downs here. The reason why I say that is because, you know, you have this card where you're alone and you're by yourself. And, and you're just like, you know, this really sucks. But look, you still have this ray of light shooting in. You have to make sure that you're keeping your hopes... And your dreams alive. And make sure that you are welcoming anything that is coming towards you. You know, you have a, a new opportunity to go forward. But you might get hung up in your head where you're just like, you're too tired. Or you might feel like, I, I don't want to put the work into this. But you know what? Guess what? Maybe the universe is bringing you some power for you to tap in on. Maybe the universe is bringing you something to take a chance on to where you don't have to put in any energy right now. And I'm not saying that you have to do this forever. But what I'm saying is it doesn't hurt to sit back and start building your foundation. You can't be in defense all the time. You can't be in fight mode all the time. You can't be in control mode all the time. You can only do what you can do. But allow people who want to be there to be there for you. This could be in love. This could be in family. This could be in, you know, work, collaborating, you know, whatever opportunities are coming to you. I feel like that you're tired of being defensive. You're tired of, of being in a fight mode all the time. And it's dragging you down at times. But like I said, I feel like that you're, you're moving up and down, up and down. Because you still have your emotions. You still have your hope. And you have these opportunities coming to you. Take the chance. Totally take the chance. This is equivalent to the Fool's card. You know, to the full. So, 
it's taking a chance and, and try try to take the lessons of the past without taking the hurt of the past bring forward the lessons and leave behind the hurt and it's easier said than done but i really think that you can do it sagittarius and i do believe that you do have energies around you that are trying to help you through this you just have to allow them to do it and just know that the energies that are around you that are trying to help you they do not see you as a charity case they do not see you as a pity party they want to help and I feel like that maybe you might shy away from people who are trying to help you simply because you do feel like you're, you're not used to that so you do feel like it's a charity case type thing but unless they make you feel that way don't think that about yourself i really do believe that you're going to have a good outcome you just have to have some more faith and know that you're being brought energies for a reason especially if a person keeps popping up you have to start realizing that maybe this person is popping up because it's in divine timing, you know, especially if this person is coming forward to bring you good things, bringing you some offerings, bringing you some enlightenment, bringing you some hope, but you can't keep shutting it down. You can't keep shutting it down. You might be feeling exhausted. I'm sorry, my bracelet got caught over here. Um, you might be feeling exhausted, but like I said, if you know that this person has a good, true heart, let them help you. Let them help you. I think that you might be fearful of, you know, maybe you're fearful that you're not bringing enough to the table or whatever. If this person isn't asking you to bring anything to the table, then it's not meant for you to. And just, you know, relax it out. Take it one step at a time. Take it one day at a time. And when you're feeling lonely, reach out to this person. And let them know. Let them help you work through it. You might also be worrying about, you know, what will you have to give this person later. And it's like, mm, you really don't think about that for right now. Just take it day by day. Take it step by step. And you're going to do good. You're going to get through this week. You're meant to be here for a reason. You are really working towards your divine purpose in life. Keep working through it, Sagittarius. You're going to get there. All right. Let's go ahead and think about that person that I was telling you about who's going to give you love messages. Okay, Spirit. What love messages do you have for my lovely Sagittarius babies? Well, we're going to take that one for sure because it kind of flipped up and around. We're going to take this one and this one. All right. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. I do feel like that a lot of you are probably pressuring yourself and, you know, you're wanting things like right now. And you know what? <laughs> Everybody goes through that. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself with that. Just try to give yourself patience. Give the whole situation patience and know that it's going to come. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace. New possibilities, a new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. I think that speaks volumes, especially since that Ten of Swords came up upside down, you know, came up in, in reverse. So it's like, just know that you have the new possibilities. You are not alone, but look at the good that is in your life. Make sure that you're focusing on that 
and make sure that you're grateful for it. Give thanks for it. And know that it's there for you. Okay? Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. You have to trust the process. There's a reason why you are going through what you're going through, especially if you know. And so just make sure that you're working on it. Make sure that you're being diligent and, you know, that's really all you can do. Have some grace with yourself. Make sure that you're forgiving others as well as forgiving yourself. So that's what I have for you this week, Sagittarius. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next week. And I hope you have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Take care of you.